Hey guys, this is New Dot Prime, aka Cop of King. Welcome to Toys for Life. This is a new series focused on the Toys for Life series, which are games like Disney Infinity and Skylanders. The idea is to show you game footage and toy footage. I'm new to making this sort of video, and I tried to do too much, and the video reached its limits of how much footage I could use. And I've made a few mistakes, but I've learned a, he a lot making this video. If you have any advice, please comment and let me know how I can improve on it. So here we go for the first video, which is based on the items in Skylanders. Please look and subscribe. The Tower of Time is an adventure expansion from Skylanders Swap Force, as you can tell by its blue base. The figure itself is pretty cool. It uh, looks like a clock tower. Its uh, clock face and windows glow in the dark. It's quite well detailed and it's quite a big figure. It looks pretty cool. The Nightmare Express is from uh, Trap Team and is another adventure expansion. It's pretty cool in, in its design with its fangs, uh, single eye and its uh, huge spikes. It's um, very cool. It also has a, a red base. Next up is the Sky Diamond, which is a large diamond. It's very cheap in its design and just feels horrible. It feels cheap and nasty. As you can see, it just feels looks fake and it feels rubbish, but in the game it gives you money. That's what it does, it, but it's a good help in um, uh, Swap Force, which is what it's from, as you can tell by its blue base. The cannon, also known as the Dragon Cannon, glows when it's put on it, uh, onto the, the base. It looks very cool. The Dragon is, the Cannon is very detailed. It glows when it's put onto the base. It glows a bright blue light, as does its eyes. It has so much detail in, on its wheels and on the cannon itself. On top of it is a dragon, and it looks, like I said, very cool. Um, it's from uh, Skylander's Giant and has an orange base as you can see. The healing elixir is your typical healing potion from any um, RPG game. It has an Ankh from Egyptian mythology on. I like the, the simple design and it's from Skylanders the first game. Uh, uh, even as a cork, it doesn't look much like a cork but it does give a good impression of one. The shield with the Ankh is very uh, indented and looks, does its job. Uh, the healing in game it just gives you healing over time. The sky shield uh, from the first game as well, uh, as you can tell by its green base, looks like a, a Zelda shield in its blue and yellow design. It, it fits in the palm of your hand, and it uh, gives you defense over time. It uh, it's a very handy uh, item, and it's been useful in every game except for the latest one where it was just something to destroy. As you can see here in comparison it's just a little bit smaller but it makes up for it with its detail. The ghost pirate swords are two swords that are embedded in rock uh, like Excalibur but they uh, in game, there are just two swords fighting around, one fire, one ice, that attack your enemies for you. It basically gives you an extra attack and can attack another enemy when you're attacking someone else. They, they can be very helpful and cause quite a bit of damage. As you can see in comparison, again, they're a little bit smaller, but they're the, it's the same size as all the others in the first game. The time to a glass is a tongue twister to say but does a great job in game it slows down all the enemies making it a lot easier and is really helpful it's really good in its design as it just by looking at it you could tell as an hourglass um, it's a good size and it's from the first game as with all the ones in the first game it's similar size and detail the scorpion catapult it's very cool uh, catapult with a spike ball on top. In the the, the game footage, it looks a grey colour, 
but the figure itself is a gold color and when put on base it glows in the dark. In game it will follow you around attacking enemies and causing splash damage which is very handy and very useful. Um, it's from uh, Giants which uh, and has been used ever since until the last game. The Hand of Fate is from the uh, Trap Team and uh, is a cool looking ghost uh, skeleton hand. It glows in the dark just like most undead things uh, in the game. It looks very cool. It looks like a nasty gnarly hand coming up from the grave with a, a gothic spike colour on. As you can tell it's a red base even though I've got a label covering it. I think this is one of the coolest from Trap Team and does a really good job of grabbing hold of your enemies so you can attack them. And it floats around. The Midnight Museum is an adventure uh, expansion from Trap Team and um, it's a very cool level and in its design it has a very Aztec feel to it um, in its uh, architectural design. It has a, uh, a gem in the middle of it which glows a purple. The Battle Hammer from uh, Skylanders Swap Force looks like a, a combination of a gavel and a sort of a Viking like hammer with its rune on top. Uh, in game, it uh, attacks enemies, smashing them as a hammer would. It looks very cool and is a good size. From this point in the video, I've reached my limits in the clips and I can edit or delete. As you'll probably notice, um, I'm either going to fill in the gaps or leave a bit of uh, space, emptiness. Next up you get the water trap, which uh, is obviously based on the Indian, Native Indian totem poles. They hold the water enemies like Gulper. As you can see here, this is how, what the animation of when it's used and how what happens when you capture someone. It's uh, a clear blue plastic, which you can see in the picture. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's quite light, but it's a solid see-through plastic. You can see the thing inside, chip. <laughs> Next up, you get the nature trap, which is a big hammer. This one's quite heavy and bulky. It feels and looks like a hammer. As you can see, that. This is the animation you get when you capture a villain like Sheep Creek. The, uh, it's used to capture nature villains. Again, it's see-through plastic and you can see the, the chip inside. Thanks for watching this, guys. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. If you have anything you want to see or anything you want to know about the items I've shown, please like and subscribe and comment.